welcome back. We are so happy to have you here with us today. So our topic today is words of wisdom. And some people may be wondering, hmm, what's the difference between a word of wisdom and a word of knowledge? Well, 1 Corinthians 12, 8 says, For to one is given by the Spirit a word of wisdom, and to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. And a word of knowledge is actually supernatural knowledge. Supernatural just means above the natural, so it comes from God. Supernatural knowledge about our past, which is something that already happened, and our present, which is happening now. Whereas the word of wisdom has to do with God's plan for the future. So the mm -hmm. word of wisdom isn't necessarily talking about really smart people like King Solomon. But again, it's for knowledge about the future of God's plans. Right. And some cool Bible examples about words of wisdom. Hmm. Oh, do you remember the story of Noah? Noah and the ark, right? Yeah. And God told Noah that he, a flood was coming, so he needed to build an ark. That was a word of wisdom. The Holy Spirit led Noah in the specific directions of how to build the ark and how big it needed to be. What's another story? Oh, Joseph. Do you remember Joseph? Yeah, he had a dream about his brothers actually bowing down to him. And that told Joseph that he was going to be someone great one day. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So one example that I can think of has to do with a guy named Ananias. Now, God oh, yeah. told Ananias to go talk to Paul. Mm -hmm. And Paul was called by God to go talk to the Gentiles, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. So we gave all those examples, but God has an awesome plan for you guys as well. His word says in Jeremiah 29, 11, that he has a plan for you, good plans to prosper you, to give you hope right. and a future. So he's not going to hurt you in any way. <laughs> so stay encouraged and trust in God, follow him, stay close to him, and he will give you the word of wisdom to know exactly what to do in your future. Oh.